IPsec is a protocol that provides secure communication over hostile network like the internet. A common place on where this is used is on site-to-site VPNs. Internet Key Exchange is a protocol within IPsec, which defines how security keys are exchanged during tunnel negotiation. There are two modes of VPN configuration, main and aggressive mode. Main mode is more secure but slower, while aggressive mode is faster but less secure. In this video, we will learn how to attack a VPN setup running in aggressive mode. Let's target an example machine and hack the box, which is called Expressway. IPsec targets are running on UDP port 500, so watch out for this line. Since we are attacking a UDP service, we cannot reliably use common tools like Netcat as it will not show us anything. Aggressive mode is using only three messages and weak algorithms, so we will target it. We can use IKE scan with dash I parameter indicating aggressive mode attack. Then we want to capture the hash form of the PSK, so we will add this flag. At the end, we will put the target. After running it, we see several interesting information. First is that it confirmed it is using aggressive mode handshake. Take a look at the security associations. This is using very weak and outdated protocols like triple dash for encryption, SHA-1 for hashing, and a very low modulus, which is only 1024 bits. Nowadays, it should be at least a minimum of 2048 bits using AES and SHA-256. The key exchange also is 128 bytes, which I think quite small and it exposes some user information. Below that, we see the hashed PSK value. PSK, or pre-shared key, is the initial credentials used to negotiate the tunnel. In other words, this is just like the password needed in order for you to connect to the remote site. To crack that, we need to put it inside a file. Then we will use John the Ripper to crack it. But before that, we need to convert it into a format that will be recognized by John. We will use the following command to do the conversion. Let's quickly compare how the original and new hash looks like. It looks like most part of the same, but John added some identifier at the start of the hash. Cracking it will be easy. We will use the main John binary. Then we will pass the word list, which is Rocky U, since that is the most commonly used. Then finally, we pass the new hash at the end. Cracking is successful, and we see here the password. The next step is to use that credential to connect to the VPN. There are different IPsec clients you can use. For example, I installed Strong Swan inside my Arch machine. So I will walk you through using my setup. After installing Strong Swan, we need to prepare two files. First is the IPsec configuration. The important bits here are the connection name, the left and right IP addresses, which will be your local and the remote side. Then I think it is also good to put the same security associations we saw from the IKE scan output. I put auto start here so I can just start the connection with one command. Then make sure we specify that we intend to use aggressive mode, which is the same as the remote. The next file we need to prepare is the secrets file, which will contain our pre-shared key. I put any on the first two columns to signify we want to use any ID selectors the configuration can detect. Then the pre-shared key here is in plain text format. Once we prepare those two files, we will start the IPsec connection in this manner. We specify no fork so it will not be launched in the background, but instead it will start on the terminal and we will be able to see the logs easily. We see here that the connection is successful. We can also see some info being leaked like the username, which we already saw from IKE scan output a while ago. Since you are now connected to the VPN, you can now perform a regular scan and wait for other services to come up. As we learn in this video, aggressive mode is less secure since the pre-shared key can easily be leaked. Once stolen, offline cracking will be easy since it uses weak crypto algorithms. I hope you learned something today. If you find my content valuable, please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you on the next one.